Thanks for tuning back in everybody. You're watching Outdoors with Craig DZ. So the weather up here in the Northeast has finally turned. I think it's about 55 today. Yesterday uh, was in the lower 50s. Uh, and so I began doing some cutting. Kind of see here. All the puddles here by my, my shed here is filling up. So uh, I'm gonna get the tractor out. I cut about I don't know, four or five trees yesterday that I dropped and, and limbed them. So they're all all set now. I'm gonna just set it up. So I'll hopefully get the tractor back there and it's not too soupy. I can get the grapple back on it and we'll start um, picking them up and, and cutting them into rounds and moving them today maybe dropping a few more trees um, tomorrow's gonna be I think in the 60s so we still even back in the woods I probably still have eight inches of snow so it's gonna it's gonna take a little while to to melt uh, compared to seeing people down like Pennsylvania where they are, it's clear already and <clears throat> up here we still got a bit but um, I think the following week's gonna warm up too and be Maybe just in the 40s, which will be perfect for for me in cutting wood and getting caught up. Uh, in other news, uh, I talked to Ford about my truck. The block arrived today, and I actually went out and I looked at the old one. And I don't know, they can't. I don't think they specifically know what caused the failure. They showed me it's like a burn spot in the cylinder, one of the cylinders that uh, it looked like. I don't know, they were asking me if I if the truck had sat for a long time or like was exposed to extreme heat or something and I'm like I don't know, like I just bought it. Like I have no idea what it did beforehand and then you know they're trying to play the blame game of oh it, you know, I don't know what they added in the the oil, but there was all kinds of additives to keep the motor running and it's like it's under warranty. So why would this other company that I bought it from like cob it up? if they knew something was wrong when they could have just brought it to Ford and say fix it it's under warranty and it'd be done for free and then they wouldn't have to deal with complaints or issues down the road they were nice enough I reached out to them just to give them an update because technically it still was under the their warranty as well um, but they offered to actually drive me out another f-250 and let me use dealer plates until my truck is fixed so uh, you know shout out again to Southern Diesel and Matt over there you guys are great I have no issues with you. I mean, that shows a lot about customer service that even if it's something that's not your issue, you're still willing to drop me off a loaner truck when the dealer hasn't even offered to do anything like that. Um, and, you know, let me keep it for a week or two. So I'm hoping, uh, talking to them, that I should have my truck back next week, hopefully mid towards the end of next week, which is kind of what they gave me ballpark. So the blocks that are today, um, they need some of the seals and gaskets and stuff to show up, but I think probably tomorrow or the next day they'll actually start reassembling it and That should be a couple days. So maybe you know cross fingers Maybe even as early as like Wednesday next week. It could be done. So stay tuned for that guys, but yeah Let's do some wood All right, YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Craig. You're watching outdoors with Craig DZ Give you a quick update here on the firewood stuff today is a gorgeous day uh, still got snow on the ground, but it's supposed to be upwards of 65, I think. Uh, if I flip the camera around here, so as I mentioned before, um, sometimes it's just to set up cameras and, and take video and stuff while I'm trying to get take advantage of something like the good weather um, can kind of prohibit things. So yesterday I really didn't get any camera footage. Um, I'm hoping to get some today. I figured I'd kind of start with a little bit of a, a pre-take so that way when I add the additional footage from this afternoon and tonight you'll actually see see the difference. But yeah, we got uh, got a good bit of progress yesterday. Um, there was no pile here. Pretty much it was just some of this stuff that was here and you can even see you know a couple of these logs. These are these are new, so um, still have to cut some of these up into rounds, but was kind of dumping them here with the tractor and, and then cutting them as I went. They're all marked, but probably dropped, I want to say six trees. And for the most part, they're all 
cut up in rounds. There's maybe one tree still here to cut, but I mean, that's gonna be 10, 15 minutes. Um, so uh, we are on our way. There's probably a good cord, cord and a half there already. Uh, can kind of see. So um, other business updates, things like that. So one thing I am noticing, which last year I, when I first started, I went slower. So you can kind of see maybe what I'm talking about here. Um, the problem that I have is all this, the brush, right? That's left from dropping all these trees. So I still have, you can see, you'll see my house kind of in the background there, but I mean, still have plenty of trees. Originally I was gonna kind of just thin it out. Uh, and then I got some other ideas. So I'm pretty much gonna straight cut all of this. Um, so should easily get another 10, I'd say probably 20, 25 cord out of this. So um, and I'm hoping to get another 10 cord. So another nine, you know, eight and a half before April. And that way most of this should hopefully be split and, and ready to go for fall. That being said, yeah, my one problem now is brush. And for us in the Northeast, at least in New York, um, I'm not sure exactly <laughs> and being a firefighter, I should probably know this, but New York has a burn ban that goes into effect. Um, and it usually lasts, I believe, I want to say the end of March or end of April. That's definitely a while. And it's just to prevent people that in springtime, you know, spring cleanup would be burning all kinds of stuff. And a lot of times the ground can be pretty dry once it starts to dry out. Um, in April so they put that ban in effect to kind of prevent people from lighting their yards and woods on fire so with that said I have all this brush that I have to get rid of um, but to burn it all you know I don't I'd have to double check but I don't know if I can still burn it right now and for how much longer I'll be able to so uh, an idea that I had you know now that I have the tractor is I could get a I could get a uh, chipper for the back of it, a PTO chipper. And it'll kind of serve multiple purposes. One, you know, for this in general, I'll be able to get rid of a lot of this brush without burning it. Um, so it'll make cleanup a lot easier. Uh, two, the byproduct, the wood chips, I'll be able to use for our chickens. And then with the dump trailer, I would imagine I'm actually probably gonna produce quite a bit of it just with what's down now. I mean, there'll probably be at least a dump trailer load, maybe more I could sell uh, for animal bedding and, and those types of uses or playgrounds, uh, whatever, you know, whatever somebody would want wood chips for. But, um, so that's kind of the byproduct. And I would imagine just the more I keep doing this, especially if I get to the wood lot or family friend or somebody that wants me to clear um, clear property for them that you know the brush is going to continue continually be a, an issue versus if I could chip it I mean yeah that's time it's going to be time spent chipping that really doesn't I mean if one full dump trailer load you know if I get 50 bucks for it I mean I guess it will kind of offset the, the cost of uh, fuel and, and time a bit um, but yeah, I think that way we'll clean things up back here, which is one thing, um, you know, my wife, want, since it's our property at the moment that I'm working on, that she wants to make sure, uh, you know, it looks clean. So our, our plan is to clear cut all this. And um, once I get done, I'll probably bring in either a combination of a bulldozer and excavator or possibly just an excavator if I can get everything done. But pretty much flatten most of this out pull all the stumps out and you know just be an extended extension of my backyard down here and hopefully it's somewhere would be big enough where we can have a garden and stuff back back here out of the way so uh, that's kind of the plan guys I will like I said hopefully get some video today it's gorgeous out but get some video of of the cutting process and, and and what we're doing hopefully as you can see yesterday wasn't too bad but this whole section kind of where the or the yeah, kabota the coyote is where happy is 
this in the fall turned into just one big mud pit and you can kind of see my tracks now that the snow is kind of melting away so i'm hoping even though today's a little bit warmer that there's enough snow and ice still down today that i'll still be able to kind of get the tractor around um, i mean if i have another day like i did yesterday we'll definitely probably have three or four cords of wood um, cut ready to go here and then you know the nice thing is once you have the rounds is splitting it can be done at any time i don't need um, tons of time right i can come out here 30 minutes at a rip when i get some free time and and actually start to split it and then stack it and for stacking is another stacking is another issue that i currently have because one where i'm stacking it there's still snow so i really can't put pallets down until that melts uh, but two i also need pallets and with my truck being out of service i kind of can't haul i can't haul any any pallets to get so um, at this point i'm just cutting everything into rounds and hopefully my truck will be ready next week this section right here is pretty well cleared out i have a few more trees to take out I'm basically gonna come straight back from the house so I'm kind of working my way back towards the house and then I'll probably leave there's a big oak there I'll probably leave um, just in the yard but everything else kind of through here is gonna get cut and then my property where <clears throat> my neighbor's house kind of borders here I think I'm gonna cut a couple more rows of trees that way and then We'll call it quits just so there's a little bit of a privacy uh, you know fence with natural trees and, and landscape there didn't think today was originally supposed to be as nice as it is so <clears throat> it's like 50 degrees out it's pretty nice so i think i'm going to cut the rest of a couple of these logs that are left i mean some of these this one ash is it's pretty big but you can see quite a big pile there and you know there's another pile on the other side so I think if I stack all this up I would probably guesstimate three cords all right so bear with me I'm in my basement here it's actually pretty messy it's kind of like a <laughs> a workbench at the moment but <clears throat> I want to show you guys so this is something I've been working on recently again for probably the last couple of weeks this is actually a crypto mining machine that I built. Uh, I actually partnered with a business slash startup uh, probably three years ago. And I ended up building, I think, a 50 of these devices. So there are six GPUs you can see in there. Um, if, if you know, try to explain it. I'm not going to do a full crypto segment here, but GPU is a graphics card and uh for the most part that's how you mine or, or create the cryptocurrencies um but so this is a side project so three years ago i built all these again was paid to kind of design these uh build them not so much design but i i had to tweak tweak some things but um we i helped build the operating system for these things and basically make them a autonomous so i mean i literally it's running right now you can power it off and watch this it will power right back up and once it actually goes through its boot up cycle it will just start mining automatically again there's no user intervention you don't have to actually do anything um so that this is what this guy wanted for his business um, what he was doing I can't really talk a lot about it because I did sign a uh, NDA on this stuff but uh, I know he won't mind um, just kind of showing the devices a little bit but so this you know this is again something I do in my free time another side hustle side hobby so I can got in touch with this guy three years ago um, and literally now Bitcoin and that stuff, Ethereum, all the other cryptocurrencies have been really, really hot and uh, prices have gone way up again. So he contacted me and 
basically said, contacted me and said, hey, you know, would you be interested in updating these for me? Uh, I want some modifications done, yada, yada, yada. Um, have some that are broke, they're not working. So um, he's actually out of New York City uh, and he ships them all the way up to me. And then I work on them in my free time and and then ship them back to him or he comes up and sends somebody up to pick them up. But so you can see, um, you know, there's two on the ground. There's one, I got a couple under, under the desk. This is kind of like a parts one that, um, yeah, just had some major issues. So we're not going to be able to, we kind of salvage everything from this guy. And then I'm almost done. So I only have a little bit left, but I think he picked up, uh, like 15 last week but yeah I just I just wanted to show you guys that besides firewood besides the dumpster stuff besides my main job um, I'm always out here hustling so today's Sunday you know it's my day off from my main job Saturday Sunday like you know most people that work on Monday through Friday but again here I am working away good morning YouTube just wanted to add this into the video today before it gets posted uh, so the dumpster business update um, Facebook page is live my uh, nextdoor.com page is live and uh, friends family members they're spreading spreading the word pretty good about the dumpster business so I'm running a, a spring special so I'm hoping this week I will get some traction with that and hopefully kind of rent it out. Um, I revamped my pricing a little bit. Um, just originally, I mean, ideally, right, You, <clears throat> I only really want, say, two-day rentals um, because that would give you the best profit. You're not moving the trailer and picking it up every day, but at the same time, you're making a little bit more than the, the one-day rental as well. Uh, however, looking through it and thinking about it more, just starting out, I said, well, really, realistically, if I could rent it out for seven days straight, which for most, you know, homeowners, residential is kind of more in their ballpark, I think, with what people are looking for. It's not a super rush to, to fill it out and, and, you know, whatever they're doing, cleaning out their garage, a shed, their house, you know, they have plenty of time to work on it where... I feel like a two-day rental, even if it's up for the weekend, gives you kind of a, you know, it's a rushed experience, right? You know, you really have to hammer it out and get it done where I think a seven-day people are going to go, eh, you know, that gives me plenty of time. So I went that route and also, you know, looking at it from a you know financial standpoint, it's like, well, if I could rent it out, say, four times a month, uh, which would be the entire month, uh, I'm looking to charge like $300 for the week. Doesn't include uh, dump fees or anything like that. But at that point, that's still $1,200 uh, for the month. Now minus probably $100 of that for gas. Um, but I mean, that's $1,100 for the month for one trailer. I don't think is bad for touching it four times. You know, well, actually eight times, but you know, dropping it off, off once, picking it up, you know, four, different times that to me uh, is not not a bad way to go but yeah I wanted to just kind of post an update on that uh, before I get the video out today again <clears throat> hopefully have some content coming out um, fairly consistently again uh, you know at least once maybe twice a week uh, got a lot of things going on so uh, just just been really busy and hectic uh, switching this is my last last week at my current job uh, I start another job next week for for my full-time career so uh, got that going on and all right YouTube that's gonna wrap it up for us today thanks for tuning in I appreciate your support as always make sure to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already to stay up to date on all future content thank you for tuning in and I will catch you guys on the next one later